Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering. Off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler review series of these I've been doing for a little while now. Go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks. I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, Tom, I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie, how could I not review this? But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there, I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck, and whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means that I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. That's not the case today. I actually found this item uh, probably a, th a few weeks ago now. It's been uh, in my fridge. I've been meaning to get around to it, but it was like... I, 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 I almost wanted to like make a spectacle out of it, you know, and like make it a thing. But then it was like, eventually I was just like, just review the damn thing, Brandon. Just get it out of the way. But I am still pretty excited about this one. Uh, but folks, yeah, so I'm going over there. I, I found this at like a little specialty shop, kind of a little, you know, sort of farmer supermarket type place. And they have like a cool little import section, you know, and I'm looking over the import section. There's always interesting stuff to find. And something caught my eye and I was like, well, I clearly have to review that. What is it? Chances are you already saw the the headline for the video, but in case you haven't, it's boom! What is this? It is Tonio Lamborghini Energy Drink. Made in Italy and everything. Um, yeah, man, so it's a Lamborghini Energy Drink. It is made in Italy. Now, the thing is, I don't speak Italian, clearly. I don't know if it's apparently 250 milliliters. I don't know if this is actually licensed from them or because I don't know how the laws work in Italy you know copyright laws and stuff can be very very different um but I mean sure I haven't I didn't see anything that specifically said like from the Lamborghini company or company or anything but who knows uh, apparently it's Lamborghini beverages.com sure man let's get a thing for the thing kind of looks like this ha 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 yeah, man, why not? I don't know. Lamborghinis are kind of cool, I guess. I'm not really a sports car guy, but, you know. <laughs> For me, man, like, probably my ideal car at this point. Either, like, a, like a classic-style Jeep Wrangler or, like, a, uh, like a classic-style uh, Volkswagen Golf. I like those. I, I like more utility type of things. But, I, I, ironically, I drive this truck. I don't really like trucks, but I inherited it, so I ain't bitching. This, t this smells just like generic-ass energy drink. That's what this is going to be. Yes, sir, Baba Rooney. That is generic, cheap-ass fucking energy drink flavor. Okay. I mean, I guess I should have expected it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you can put the Lamborghini thing on it. You can do this, that, and the other thing. It's basically the same thing as if you go to, like, a novelty shop or something... And, you know, maybe they have, like, a Sonic the Hedgehog energy drink or Dragon Ball drink. They're all the same shit. They're just some generic bullshit citrusy energy drink blend that's been around basically as long as, you know, at least, like, sort of the Monster brand energy drinks and stuff have been around. Um, if, you, if you've been fortunate enough to never have that in your life, it's like a worse version of Green Monster. Like, just the standard base level Monster, it's kind of like that, but just... A little bit shittier. Now I will say this. This one is at least a little bit better than some of the other ones I've had. Especially the ones I've done over the course of doing this show. Um, because I mean I've had some wretched. Wretched. Fucking generic ass energy drinks. Um, especially when you get like the really super budgety ones. Yeah those are usually dog shit. This is at least slightly better. It's got a little extra tang to it on the citrus end. Uh, that's about the best I can say for it. it. It's not horrible, I guess, but it is definitely just that very generic, every fucking, you know, energy drink flavor ever energy drink, so. Mm. 
little bit sweet, very citrusy, a little bit of a undercurrent of cheap tasting. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the most pleasant thing to drink either. I can try to prop it up if you guys want, but at the end of the day, Lamborghini, I can see why they probably didn't put their full license behind this. Um, you know, they went over there, they paid some fucking, you know, shitty company to probably didn't even pay anything. They probably just went over there and they, you know, the whatever company went over there and made this. They just got the branding, you know, they just paid a fee to get the branding, put it on the thing. So that idiots like me could go over there and review it on the internet. Yeah, there's genuinely nothing special about this. It is just a very basic bitch, generic energy drink um, that, again, you've probably had a million times if you go over there and you buy, like, the novelty ones. Like, I reviewed, uh, what was it? The Scorpion Mortal Kombat Fatality Energy Drink, like, a few months back. Basically the same shit. Just slight variations. Uh, this one is not, like I said, it's not the worst I've had, but it is not, it's not great. It's not even as good as, like, Normal Green Monster. And I'm not even that big in a Normal Green Monster, so. Yeah. I don't like that. It's just, it's a little bit too tangy, a little bit too tart with the citrus. And like I said, it has, like, an undercurrent of something mildly unpleasant. Uh... Yeah, basically what it comes down to is I bought this for the can. Because now, at the very least, I can add it to the collection of weird energy drink cans that I've acquired over the years. One day, that will be my legacy. Someone will go over there, and I, you know, I'll lose touch with people for a while, and eventually they'll go over there, and they'll find me out in my garage, just buried in cans and bottles and stuff like that. Um, it'll be fun. It'll be a good time. Just family activity. Two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? No and no. It's not good. It's just not good. Um, again, it's not like terrible, terrible. It, it's just a generic energy drink, you know? They exist for the sole purpose at this point of either being very budget-oriented energy drinks or, in this case, slapping some sort of branding on it so you can say that it's a thing. And that's all this is. You're just, all you're doing, all I did was I'm just paying for the branding. I'm a little bit disappointed because I didn't think that would be it. You know, with the Lamborghini, it's not like I expect Lamborghini to go over there and open up their, you know, like a full, full-on beverage division and, you know, the whole thing. I get it. It's a licensing thing or whatever. But I would have expected them to license their shit out to something at least a little bit more reputable. Whatever. Um, all right. Well, and yeah, if I'm recommending it, no. The only way I would recommend this is if you just, you again, if you just really want the can. If you just think the, you know, the branding's cool, whatever, then it's fine. If nothing else, it's not horrendous or anything, but it's nothing you need in your life. Especially if all you want is just an energy drink. If you just want an energy drink, I could rattle off probably fucking a few dozen that I would pick way before I got to this. So, but, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your year, folks over there have yourselves a truly Ferrari-tastic rest of your life. No, I don't give a shit. I know that Ferrari and Lamborghini, they got pulled. Golf-tastic rest of your life, I guess. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, what's your experience with uh, generic-ass energy drinks? I remember when I first encountered them, I uh, used to get them. I'd probably still sell them. I, you know, I haven't... Well, it's not true. Because I will occasionally stop in at a, at a Hot Topic in the mall every now and again because sometimes they have, like, anime shirts that I like. But I haven't really paid too much attention to their beverage stuff. But I remember the first place that... I remember seeing them was at places like Hot Topic and, uh, uh, what's the other one? I can't think of the name, but 
And that was the thing, you know, it was like, oh, cool, there's a Sonic the Head, there's a, there's a Mega Man E-Tank, you know, and it was like a whole thing. And then you'd try it, and you'd be like, oh, well, this isn't very good. But that's okay, because I've got five more, and they all cost $8 a piece because of branding. And then it all tastes exactly the same. So, but maybe you folks have had a better experience with it. Maybe you like them. That's fine. Please feel free to comment to that effect, regardless. I think it'd be interesting to, to hear if it... Do you have one in particular that you liked or that, you know, you, you hold close to your heart because of the branding? I mean, for me, Mega Man, you know, so. But anyway, 